Well, it's a stacked fucking division. I mean, look, I mean, you still have Yoel Romero at the top of the heap. <clears throat> I don't know what they're doing with him. I mean, no. he was supposed to be fighting uh, um, Boachina. What is, oh, yeah. Uh, Paulo Costa. Paulo Costa. Boachina. Yeah, who's a fucking monster. Yeah, if anybody is. is who's not on steroids, who looks like they're on Dude, steroids, it's him and they're Yoel all Romero. on fucking steroids. Let's so? be, uh, well, it's not that easy these days with it's USADA, hard. but come on, some of them are on steroids. <laughs> some They've of them probably be. are. Joe. But who's on? Okay. You're telling me that you don't believe that Yoel Romero ever took a steroid in his life? I didn't say that. Okay. I definitely well, didn't say cool. that. I think it's possible. It's oh, totally it's possible. possible. How's that fence you're sitting on? <laughs> I get it. I no, get but it. I mean, it's, 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 it's a tough scenario for you to be in. No, no, UFC no, commentator. I'm, I'm you, fucking honest, bro. Yeah. If I believe it, I'll say it. <laughs> and, and let's not forget he tested positive. There was that yes. whole... Yes, Anytime somebody says it was a tainted, tainted supplement, some, yeah. it's bullshit. You never tested positive for anything. Never tested positive in my life. Let right. me tell you something. I'm not a guy that scours the back of everything I read. I'm right. a careless motherfucker. I really am. I wish I wasn't, but I am. I'll just go through my life doing what I do. I've been tested a million times, never come close. Okay? Some other guys, they blow up the lab. Yeah. You know? <laughs> There's no smoke without fire. You know what I'm saying? I agree with you. I agree with you. I remember there was talk years back, um, before USADA, there was talk of certain camps that would hire guys who knew testing. And these guys would orchestrate uh, a program for these fighters to make sure that they didn't get caught. And right. that they would figure out ways to, you know, to taper off mm. but still keep your gains and, and make sure that you didn't test positive at all. And this was done under the assumption that everyone else was cheating as well. And this was for a long time. That was how a lot of people viewed the sport. There was guys like you, BJ Penn, there was a few guys that you just knew weren't going to do anything. It was their word. They said they were never going to do anything. Sure. And, and they never looked like they did anything. You always maintain the exact same physique throughout your entire career. Well, the thing is, I, I think where it started getting a little weird, and I don't want to bang on about steroids mm -hmm. too much because that's been a narrative that I've over yeah you know I, yeah. I, i've said my piece about that right i, I don't want to you know bang on about it too much but i think where, it, where the waters really got murky is when trt came in yes when testosterone replacement therapy became a thing and all you had to do was go to your doctor and said hey you know i can't get a hard on or whatever and all of a sudden they sign you off well, even trt worse. <clears throat> no i know even worse you could take steroids first and then come off of it so your testosterone was low. Oh, really? And you go to a doctor and say, I have low testosterone. Oh, of course, yeah, because it messes the, up your natural yes, production of it. This is what of guys course. did. Guys right. took steroids and then went in afterwards and said they have low testosterone mm. because they were on steroids. Sure, no, exactly. So then it became legal. And yes. then you had all these guys coming out there saying, you know, if I'm not on TRT, I'll die. I'll die. Mm -hmm. And then they outlawed it and then... Ten years later, some of them are still fighting to this day. Yes. You know, so yeah. without naming names, you know who you are. Shame on you. Well, but, we've uh, talked about TRT Belfort, <coughs> TRT Vitor Belfort forever. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that was when he was on TRT, he was a different kind of human being. Mm. He was just completely different than he is in oh, any yeah. other circumstance. Oh, yeah. Looking back, <laughs> you can see that. I mean, because when I fought him, I fought him on TRT. You fought him when he was at the... The super Vitor level. Absolutely. It looked like fucking <laughs> the Incredible Hulk. He had but, muscles on his fucking eyebrows. Yeah, looking back, you can see that, you know. But yeah. but at the time, as a fighter, you got to be... You can't think like that. You know what I mean? What are you looking at? Oh. That, 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 that doesn't even do it justice. No, that doesn't do it justice. Nah. That's supposed to be before and after. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm just recovering it. from a cold at the week. I'm a little congested, so the, I keep coughing. The real, the real key that's is a better that's, one. that's better. That's way better. That's much more accurate. <clears throat> and he's a guy who was known to take things. I mean, mm. he took things early in his career. Remember when he fought Randy when he oh, was yeah. 19? He was 240 pounds. Yeah, he yeah, fucking, exactly. His neck started at the top of his head. Yeah, but... Um, yeah, I remember there was a, a picture of us both on the scale in Brazil. Mm. And... Uh, you know, looking back now, you go, holy shit. You know, anyone else would think, oh, have you seen this guy? He's kind of yeah. big, blah, 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 blah. But you don't think like that at the time. You can't as a fighter. If you start having those thoughts, those doubts, you start looking at a fighter's physique and thinking, oh, he looks good. Mm. You, you've already lost, right. you know. But in hindsight, you can look back and say, holy fuck, yeah. what was I thinking? You know, this guy's fucking roided out of his mind. I remember on there, I was trying to get a rise out of him and he kept putting his hand in my face. I'm not a religious guy and, and you know, 
God bless anyone that is. You know, I, I, I mean that. I respect everyone's opinions, but I'm not. And as we know, Vito is heavily religious. And he kept sticking his thing in my face. He was pissing me off. So I said, Vito, come here, come here. And he leans in. I said, there is no Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe there is. Uh, maybe there is. You know, me getting uh, dropped with a head kick in the second round. <laughs> maybe that was God thwarting me. Who knows? What did he say? Some fucking Portuguese bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's 